Hello and welcome to the Conversation Cafe. My name is Beth Turner. I'm a communication coach for young people and this is where I come to share top tips and techniques with young people just like you so that you can become really confident communicating in a whole host of everyday situations. Now this video is all about how to overcome nerves that you might feel ahead of speaking out loud. Now, the first thing I want you to know is that nerves are totally acceptable. They're really common and they're really understandable. So they're nothing to worry about, but they don't serve you when you want to speak out loud. And so what I want to do is share a technique that you can use to overcome those nerves the minute that you feel them arise. Now, when you want to have a really enjoyable experience speaking out loud, what it's great to be able to do is to control your breathing, because when you've got lots of air to use to breathe with, your voice is steady, your speech is clear, it's easy to hear and it's easy to understand. So let's take a moment to think about how to breathe. Now, I'm guessing that on a day to day basis, when you're feeling nice and calm and relaxed, you don't put a lot of thought into, oh, must remember to breathe in, must remember to breathe out. Here I go again. It happens naturally. And when you're calm and relaxed, what happens is your lungs and your tummy work together so that you've got lots of air to use to speak with. And every time you breathe in, your lungs expand and your tummy comes out. And then as you speak and the air comes out, your tummy flattens and your lungs reduce the size. And you go through this process and it works in two ways. Now, the problem is when we start to feel nervous about anything, but in this case, nervous about speaking out loud, we often get butterflies in our tummy. And what we can do is we naturally tense our tummy muscles because we don't like feeling nervous in our tummy. And what that does is it restricts the amount of air that we've got available. And then when you try and talk, when you feel nervous, you haven't got enough air to keep your voice nice and steady. Often the air can run out quicker than you want it to. So you find yourself speaking quicker because you can feel the air um, running out with each breath. And actually you become hard to understand and even hear. And that then triggers a whole set of responses in you. You start to feel really hot and bothered, nervous. You might feel a bit sweaty. You might feel yourself going red. And that makes the whole situation far more nerve wracking than it needs to be. So what I'd like to do is tell you about a technique that I read about a long time ago now that the Navy SEALs use to help them keep control of their breathing and stay calm in some very high pressured situations. And this technique is one that I've used myself um, when I've had the occasion to go onto a stage and speak in front of a big audience. I've used this technique for three reasons. It's really easy to do. It's really effective the second you use it. But lastly, no one knows you're doing it. So you don't need to feel embarrassed. You don't need to draw attention to yourself. You can do it without anybody being any of the wiser. So let me tell you how it works. It's a three part technique. And what you do is you breathe in a nice deep breath which is part one. And remember, as you breathe in, your lungs expand and your tummy naturally comes out. So stage one is a lovely deep breath in. Stage two, you hold your breath for five seconds. Again, nobody around you would know that you're doing this. So stage two, you hold that breath for five seconds. And then step three is you release that breath really slowly. So you don't oh, do a big deep breath out you release that breath really slowly and you try and make that happen over the case of four or five seconds so you breathe in really big deep breath you hold it for five seconds and then you let that breath out really slowly and the reason that this technique works is because when you breathe in and hold your breath it changes the ratio of oxygen and carbon dioxide in your body and that change in ratio just slows your heart rate down just a touch. And in slowing your heart rate down, you start to feel so much calmer again. 
Now, the other real benefit of using this technique is if you think about it, you've released that breath really slowly over a few seconds. You've emptied your tummy and your lungs of all the air that was in there. And now the next breath that you take in, just as you begin to do your speaking out loud, is going to be a lovely deep breath. And that means there's enough air now for your voice to remain steady and not quaker. Um, and also for your voice to be heard clearly and to be understood. So it's a simple technique and you can use it just before your speaking part in that assembly. You can do this just before it comes to your turn to read out of that textbook in class. You can do it just before you go on stage or the front of a room to present something to an audience or you can do it just before you start a difficult conversation that you want to have with someone that's making you feel nervous. That technique alone will allow those butterflies to disappear the minute they arrive. And when you know that you can control your breath, all of those extra responses, the hot, the clammy, the juddery voice, the sweaty palms, all of that, it doesn't happen because you don't feel nervous, you feel calm. And that allows you to enjoy the experience of speaking out loud far more than you ever would. I would encourage you to practice the technique, especially the breathing out part, because sometimes we want to rush that. But when you breathe it out nice and slowly, that's what then allows you to take that nice, big, deep breath in as you start to speak out loud in whatever situation you're in. I hope that you found that technique to be useful. Please practice it before you need it. So it's something that's really natural to you on the day. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to share it with someone that doesn't know it exists yet. And if you didn't, let me know why in the comments below and I will come back and help you as best I can. So thank you for joining me in the Conversation Cafe today. I'll see you back here soon.